bad luck. Oh. Time to purge a Primark. You got it. Yeah. doubts but I also believe that if we stuck together somehow we could change our fate Isley's through there. We're still gonna have our talk. So let's survive this first, yeah? Right. <laughs> Been looking for you, Nabat. <laughs> Please escape. I'll cover your retreat. Why don't you leave, Jill? Or rather, take your leave. Humans have no business here. What? Your eminence! <laughs> what? <Huh>? Magic? <laughs> Monster! People are not yours to use! What else does one do with tools? Please, no! Cocoon is a factory built by Valsi. A factory for the mass production of human thralls. Not anymore, it's not. What can mere men do? Without our help, death is all of which you're capable. You saw the fools, a mindless mob drunk on fear of a viewless sea. If they only knew, a lessee was the one filling their glasses! Lassie? <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> Oh, child, perish the thought. I am more than that! I am Falsi. My name is Spartanulus. Voice of the Sanctum and Lord Sovereign of the Cocoon Falsi. Your kind feared the darkness, so we gave you light. You begged us for the purge, and did it not come to pass? Now you spurn our counsel. You must learn your place! Cocoon's nothing to you?
done. Witness my power. <laughs> The foul sea running the sanctum. Then. I guess it wasn't Eden controlling things after all. As I said, ah! I am Lord Sovereign. Guess Fauci don't go down as easy as the rest of us. Ease is not the issue. You have not fought to win. You should know quite well already the sure way of dispatching our kind. Ragnarok. What's Ragnarok? Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pitiful the sea. You've forgotten your focus. Ragnarok is the beast one of you must become in order to lay waste to Cocoon. You have had the dream. One among you will become that monstrosity. Defeat Orphan and destroy Cocoon. Orphan? The font of Eden's power. Orphan fuels Eden with strength, and Eden in turn sustains you and the rest of our kind. Destroy Orphan, and you'll release a force such as this world has never seen. Cocoon will be torn asunder. So if I did that, destroyed orphan... <laughs> Your focus will be fulfilled. So what? Who says it has to be? <laughs> Sarah asked us to save Cocoon before she turned to crystal. Save it, and that's what we're gonna do. Sarah was trying to tell us how to complete our focus, and we have... <laughs> Allow me to help you see the truth of things. The moment you arrived, your friend wept crystal tears. This was because her focus required that you be brought together. That girl did nothing but assemble the tools for Cocoon's destruction. Did it never occur to you? Or did you simply refuse to countenance the thought? If you will not face the truth, then face the peril of your plight. Run, let's see. See how stark reality is. Come on. This is bad. The yoke's jammed. What? Knew it was a trap. <laughs> Something's coming! Not so fast, Lassie. Hang on! <laughs> The 
hell kind of ship is this? Fighting on its own? Clever, aren't you? Got me! I give up! The shield! Vestige? Something like that. It's close to Eden. Yeah, well, what I don't understand is after the purge and all that Lassie paranoia, why keep a chunk of pulse under the floorboards? Hmm. Is this what the Primarch wanted us to see? A place for Lassie to accept their fate. Do you really think our focus is what Dysley said it is? You mean become Ragnarok? Destroy the foul sea eaten and shatter cocoon. That's what the vision's telling us, more or less. <sighs> so, back to square one. Out of luck. Mr. Hero! Cocoon calling snow! <clears throat> it's almost like. Dysley wants it to come true. Seems that way. He sure didn't mind explaining it. Here's your focus on the silver platter. But that doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Why would a cocoon foul sea want to destroy cocoon? Maybe it's a foul sea thing. You know what I mean? Some grand design we just don't understand. Huh. Hey, Snow. Nothing from you? Uh-huh. So, this way? Yeah, I gotta apologize. Looks like I was wrong. About Sarah's focus? Not like you to second-guess yourself. Well, even heroes make mistakes. What about your plan to protect Cocoon? Either way, your faith in Sarah was strong. That strength got you this far. It was all wrong. Yeah. You tried so hard to convince us that you even fooled yourself. <laughs> You've been a total idiot. But still... saved me. You trusted Sarah. Let that faith drive you. It even made me want to believe. Kinda creepy.
this place. It must be an Ark. An Ark? That's what they called them. Long ago, the Falci, who made their home on Grand Pulse, were afraid of invasion from the outside. As part of their battle preparations, they created an army of living weapons. And they stored those weapons in arcs. And they hid the arcs all over the world. Everyone on Grand Pulse knew the legend. So, this is basically a Pulse armory. Mm-hmm. Most of us never believed in it. A few people tried searching, but they never found a thing. Who'd have thought to look on Cocoon? Right under our noses. <laughs> Some secret they kept. Those Sanctum guys, what are they up to? The story's not done. There's more. They used to say the Arcs had a more practical purpose. Really? Yeah, to force Lassie to master their shiny new powers. Uh-huh. Okay, so, I get it. Dysley's goal is to forge us into stronger weapons, right? Not Seath, but monsters all the same. <laughs> Think of it as training for the fight ahead. Hope's right! Wait, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> These guys again. Fun times. Over there. We gotta keep moving. Guys, it's all right. Reigns is a sanctum officer. He's been helping us uh, out. Why are you here? <laughs> Reigns, you traitor! <laughs> uh, I put you on the path. That was my focus. <laughs> You're a C. Since long before we met, I did my best to assist you, as bid by the Sanctum Falci. Now do you understand? The Falci have watched over you, guiding your every step. The luck that saved you time and again was a deliberate machination. Why, you may ask? The Primarch, or should I say, Bartandalus, is crafting you into the instruments of Cocoon's demise. We've been played for fools. A Cocoon Falci? Why? Why? To restore the Maker. The Maker? The entity responsible for creating both humans and Falci. Long ago, the Maker departed this world, leaving the two races behind. In a sense, Human and Falci are brothers, orphaned by the same parent. As for the humans, they forgot the order imposed by the Maker. They began to war amongst themselves for the first time in history. The Falci focused on recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former glory. This purpose lies at the heart of all their actions. Calling back the Maker 
requires a fitting sacrifice. Yeah, we've heard. The destruction of Cocoon. The lives of this world's entire populace. In bloody tribute. No. That's crazy talk. I don't get it. Why do they need us? Couldn't the Fauci end Cocoon with just a thought? Their existence is bound to the creation and maintenance of this floating shell. It is their very nature that holds them in check. You mean Cocoon Fauci can't destroy Cocoon? They needed tools. If we can stop this by doing nothing... We'll do nothing. Noble, I expected as much. You lied to us. What happened to your dream of rebuilding Cocoon for the people? Was it all a lie? A shadow of a dream. From when I was human. It was change I craved. And once I'd built the influence to make things happen, there was change. I gained all the power I could hope for, but was a puppet with no will to wield it. It wasn't the foul sea who changed. It was me. You... you were made a lassie? A lassie. Tied to an inescapable focus. A slave of destiny. I'd lost hope. I'd all but given up on dreams of freedom. What are you saying? I'm here of my own accord, not by foul sea order. Seeing you fight... brought it all back. Brought back that future I once strove for. I, too, will challenge my fate. If I can defeat you here, the Falsi plan will fail. Reigns! I will use all my remaining power. I will set you free! Why, Sid?
My will is my strength! his focus? I don't think so. All Reigns did was try to save Cocoon in his own way. His own way. What? Hey! Where are you? Snow! I think Reigns was searching. Searching for a way to make us understand. To understand the frustration of being a Lassie. A Lassie bound to a focus. And maybe what it meant to be human. <laughs> 